Well, they say time flies, you know. Buddy LaRosa says he spent most of the last few days reflecting on how far the business has come. From the first shop in Westwood he opened with $400 to the company that's grown to a nearly $200 million business. I remember sitting out in lawn chairs in the front of the little uh, business waiting for people to come in. 64 La Rosa's restaurants now span across Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. But he says their focus on the little things is what's allowed them to grow over the past 70 years. I know what I want. I want service. I want quality. And they'll forget maybe what they paid for it but they'll remember it was quality and it was service. But he says those lessons come from his early years growing up in a family of entrepreneurs. If you don't like what you're doing, do something else. But if, if you like what you're doing, then do your very best. That same passion was passed down to Buddy's sons, including Michael, now the company's CEO, who knew from an early age he wanted to get into the family business. Dad would give us milkshakes and, you know, special desserts if we would do little projects when we were young on the weekends around the business. But uh, it's just a labor of love, and I fell in love with it. And everyone from longtime employees to Mayor Aftab Pureval were on hand for the festivities. I, Aftab Pureval, Mayor of the City of Cincinnati, do hereby proclaim March 25th as La Rosa's Day in Cincinnati. This was really his brainchild, and and he built the business, but uh, to, for him to be able to witness this makes me feel very proud. Michael tells me the next generation of the family already getting involved in the business. He's got his son and a few grandkids already learning the ins and outs of the business. We're live in Westwood tonight. Tyler Madden, Local 12 News. Okay, Tyler, now I'm wondering, they've been in business 70 years. Buddy doesn't look a day over like 55, 60. How old is the man, the legend himself? He was telling me today he's 93 years old and he's not as hands-on as he was before, but he's still, he said, the landlord of this property here, so he's still keeping a close eye on his sons. 93 years old, running a business, and even serving as the landlord. We all aim to be as uh, in such good health as Buddy. Tyler, thank you so much. You can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.